And yet again, the standard of our education as it drops is shown in the lack of grammar within the sign. These protesters sum up the thoughts on everyone's mind today. No! <laughs> Do the other side, it's better. Hello girls, where have you come from today? Brixton. It just seems a bit ridiculous. Like three grand already is a lot, then nine grand. And like, so you just don't have the money to pay for that. So how am I meant to get an education and have a career instead of a job? Yeah, no, I don't understand how we can pay five billion for the war, but we can't afford education. But we can, like 25% on education, five billion for the war, not really fair, I don't know. Indeed, I'm guessing that you've not started uni yet. No, next year. Fight the power. Do you think it creates a larger divide between those that can afford to be educated and those that oh, can't? certainly, certainly. So I'm here with Tom York, who's <laughs> protesting against the student tuition fees. Nick Clegg, a bit of a traitor, isn't he, really? Asked for student votes, promising that he won't support rising tuition fees and then uh, supports the trebling of them. So uh, not good form on him, to be honest. If uh, the fees would have been in place now, I would never have gone to uni. So uh, I've got a little brother and marching mainly for him at the moment. I came from a working class background. Um, I was educated in the in the late 60s. I had a grant. I, I, I could leave home. I could make my own way, way in the world. If I, I'd be, it just wouldn't happen these days. Here we are at the back end of the protest. As you can see, if you look further down the street, there's a large mass of uh, students all rallying in anger against the, uh, the potential rise in student fees. Sorry guys, can we just squeeze through? Sorry, thank you. And as the protest advances, uh, we can see for hundreds of metres the uh, protesters and their placards progressing all the way down onto Parliament. Seems good nature, doesn't it? No problem so far for us. Not expecting any trouble? Hopefully not, no. Expecting any trouble today. The no comment the silence of the establishment. Do you mind if we ask? No opinions to relate? No. No opinion one way or the other. Excuse me, officer, could we ask your uh, opinion on the march so far? Can't give my opinion whilst I'm working. I love the I really love the cuts. You won't play anymore. Can you read it? We won't play anymore. Well, basically it says, fuck leg. Here I am outside a heavily fortified Downing Street as the protest rages on behind us, which you can see. As the national anthem blares out from the protesters, one can only assume Mr Cameron cannot ignore the voices of the students who are marching today. I'm Andy Walsh. Thank you. No education cuts. No No education cuts. No No education cuts. No No education cuts. No No
please, please don't cut spending on universities. We don't okay, deserve Cameron. this. My dad Honey, the honey's the rich, not the clever. Nick Clegg, sell out. So you're in favour of it? Of the march, definitely. Who isn't, really? <laughs> Seven and a half grand a year to go to a middle table university. I want to go to Imperial for my masters. Fifteen grand, possibly, for one year. Where's the justice? I can't afford that. We do. Oh, Calvin, we hate you. No ifs, no buts, no education cuts. Is that your whole opinion of the coalition? No, they're all shit. I think it's a bit unfair, you know, people who come out with like debts three times as large as what I did last year. Have you finished university now? Yeah, last year. Are you planning on doing a masters? Uh, I'm not. No, I've come out with like 20 grand, so I can imagine with someone coming out with like three times that. It's ridiculous. What's your opinion on the rise in higher education fees? I think it's terrible, you know. I think, like, you know, young kids, you know, education should be free in this country, you know. Are you do involved directly in the march? No, no, no. I'm just, <laughs> I was working in London and I was just coming down to see what's going on. Okay. Do you, do you know what the march is about today? Yeah, it's about kind of student fees and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, they've lifted the cap off uh, higher education fees so yeah. students can be paying up to nine grand a year. I think it's pathetic myself. I mean, why are you stopping people from learning? David Cameron guy talking about, you know, he's going to, you know, make loads of new jobs and this and that and whatnot. Since he's coming to power, what he's cutting jobs, you know what I mean? He's taking a piss. Sorry, my language. I'm a graduate teacher at the University of Essex. So, I mean, I'm assuming fu uh, cutting of funding in uh, universities overall is going to affect uh, well, job prospects for postgraduates as well as affecting opportunities for undergraduates as well. From a lecturer's perspective, can you see any justification in raising the, uh, the student fees and cutting the budgets to universities? No. Right, I'm here. I've flown back all the way from China. I've come to rep my boys with the cutting of the uh, student funding. Right, I went to Oxford. I had it large in the Bullingdon Club. Uh, you know, you lot, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta earn it, son. So that's me, David. I'm now gonna go and sit in my office. See ya. Thank you, David. Uh, no. Lower sixth at the moment. So when you progress on to university, will this be affecting you directly? Yeah. Yes, we believe so. It's good that people get together and, you know, show that they have a point and, you know, get that point across. If I don't get university funding, I'm going to be pretty much, you know, left in mid-air, really. So highly in favour of stopping the, uh, raising the cap? Yep. Um, I'm even considering going, studying in Germany, because I'm fluent in German, so if it goes up to, what, £40,000 I have to pay for a university degree, might as well just go abroad. Keep education for everyone. Stop dividing the classes. I'm a professor of education. I was from a poor working class background. If there had been fees in my day, I would never have gone to university. This policy will cut out hundreds of thousands of working class kids from university. That's why I'm here today. Nick Clegg, we hate you. You're a fucking Tories. Here's my banner. Uh, I'm disappointed. I'm a student. I'm a student. I voted for Nick Clegg and I feel that he hasn't supported us as students. I mean, this is the biggest demonstration against the cut so far. It's incredibly exciting. I'm here with Adam and Kat. What brings you down to the march today, guys? Uh, to try and make our voice heard about the education cuts so we don't agree with them and we think they should stop. I'm buying uni next year and I just, I'm not sure I'll be able to afford it and then I want to be able to do a postgrad on that so that I can get employed in various jobs, but it's just not going to be able to happen. Excuse me, officer, do you mind if we ask you what the situation is? Sorry, no, no comment, I'm afraid. Pardon me, officer. Excuse me, officer. Ignored. That's a first. No comment. None whatsoever? No. No opinion either way? No. Thank you very much. Impartiality as ever reigns supreme. I'm outside the Houses of Parliament after what has been uh, a very successful march and uh, what a fantastic day it's been. The amount of people that have come out today to show their disgust against lifting the cap 
on tuition fees. Quite astounding, really. We've spoken to a lot of people today, and hopefully democracy shall prevail. Hopefully the government will take note of the amount of students who showed their support. There is no justification for increasing... The, oh. I'm Andy Walsh, thank you very much. What is this in Adolf? Yeah! Pardon me, sir. What is your protest to illustrate? Sacrifice. <laughs> We're using a Neanderthal aesthetic to represent old, old school conservative methods. <laughs> and doing it quite well. Let's use the recession as an excuse to bring in some really old school mentalities. He's freezing his tips off the board though. Life continues inside for those that can afford it, but for those who soon won't be able to, this is the scene outside. A fire is raging, they seem to be burning an effigy of Nick Clegg. The police don't appear to be in control of the situation whatsoever. And the peaceful protest that was, looks like it may rapidly be turning into a riot. What's happening is at the front, there's loads of police that are gathered up. They're formed a, a line of, of police, and uh, there's people chucking kind of like uh, like the sign handles, like the wooden sign handles at their helmets and stuff. I noticed that one of the some of the protesters got inside some of the more like violent ones, and they got they got inside and they were causing some kind of like fighting in there. The scene speaks for itself. <laughs> 